So the other day I was on Pinterest, which is mm, probably about 90% of the time uh, looking for inspiration because I post daily to Instagram and sometimes I really get stuck just coming up with ideas. So I have a look for things that can inspire me and I came across an image where someone had cut out tons and tons of words and it was lifting up and it looked really impressive. I couldn't have the patience for doing that. So I thought, could you replicate this in Photoshop? So I had a go and I posted it to my Instagram and people loved it. It's probably one of the most liked photos I've put up on my Instagram. Uh, and also people were just saying, what, what is this? Is this real? Is this fake? I can't really tell, which is great. Uh, really encouraged me. Uh, but I thought I'd show you how my process of how I did it so that you can impress your friends with it as well. So to start off with, the things we need are for you to write out lyrics from your favourite song. Recommend using some lines underneath it uh, just to keep it level. This is my normal handwriting. That's why it looks a bit messy. Uh, I can, I'm only very good when I'm writing just a couple of words at a time. Uh, so do that, get that on a bit of paper. Also, grab your phone and you want to put your hand in that similar position to what that person had. So grab yourself some paper, get yourself uh, your desk, plain desk, make sure there's some space around it. Put your hand in the position like you were holding uh, the text up with. Keep it there and just move that paper away. Grab your phone, take a photo of it. So what you want to do is just have that hand in that position, take a photo, and we're gonna take both those bits, scan the uh, lyrics or whatever you've written down into the computer, get them both up in Photoshop, and then we'll go from there. So in Photoshop, we've got a picture of our hands that we're going to uh, use. We have the lettering that you just scanned in. Uh, so first things first, we need to get rid of this white background. So the quick and easy way to do that is double click on the background layer to make it an editable layer. Double click on it again, and it'll bring up the layer styles. And down here where there's two gradient bars, holding down the Alt key, just want to bring uh, the left one down to the middle. Now quickly remove the background, add another layer. This is just to finalize it. Select both those layers and then Command E, which will merge those layers. So that's that done. What we want to do is select just the area where the type is, command copy, then command V to paste into our document. And now we, what we want to do now is you make a duplicate just so we've got one safe in case we muck it up. So go drag it onto the new icon bit at the bottom down here. Um, and also we want to right click on it and convert to smart object. So we can edit it and if we need to change it, it's still uh, holds on to um, the resolution and stuff like that. So, so we've done that. And then what we can do actually is double click on that to open up that uh, smart object. And we're gonna color it in here. So let's turn it white by double clicking on the layer and adding a color overlay. Happy with that. Close that layer down, ask us to save. Yeah, we wanna save that. We've got this white text. So that's how we were gonna want it. So first of all, we want to just position it in the right place, roughly where we think it's going to go. So Command T to bring up our transfer, transform, free transform. Um, looks about right. And next, we are going to um, duplicate the layer again because we want uh, to make a shadow. So drag it onto the new icon, uh, hide that for a minute, and now. Bring up the free transform again, so Command T, and right clicking on it, we want to go to warp. And this is where we're going to do a lot of the work to make it look like it's sort of coming up from the desk. So here, this will just depend on your picture, we're just going to make it so it sort of curves down to the floor. So just start bringing in some of these parts. So we've got like this wave going on. And it might help you if you get the paper again, just see 
what those lines look like as you're trying to work in Photoshop. That's about right. So once you're happy, press enter and that will finalize that effect. Uh, so that's like the first part. Now we need to add some texture to it. So there would be, if you're pulling it up, as you can see with the paper again, you can see there's some sort of the shadowing going on here. So it's slightly dark across the middle. So what we want to do for that is create a new layer, get a brush, how it feels on the brush rather than the eraser. Run that through there. And what we're going to do is um, clip it to that layer. So holding out all key, go between the um, lettering and that brush mark we just made. And then we're just going to lower the opacity. That looks good, so happy with that. Now what we're going to do is mask uh, the thumb over the top of the text so it looks like we're actually holding it. So double click on the background layer so it makes it editable. We're going to duplicate that, so drag it onto the folder icon and then that's going to go above the text. Now we add a mask to it. Click on the mask icon down the bottom and then we're going to do Command I to invert it. Then we grab the eraser tool making sure we're on black. And then again, we want to add another layer to add some, because uh, where the thumb would be <coughs> holding your paper, there'd be a little sh shadow on the text. So another new layer, holding down the alt key, clip it to where we'd made the other mark. Get the brush again. And then we just lower that opacity again. And then uh, the last stage is for us to make a shadow on the actual desk itself. So that's where we get the duplicated version of it. I like that. And then we double click that color overlay because we want it black. The shadows are black. Okay, that. And then what we else we want to do is give it some a blur because the shadow would be slightly blurred so we go to blur gaussian blur and then yeah give it about seven okay that and then what we want to do is command t bring up free transform and right click to distort and then we're just going to lower that opacity give this layer a mask, bring up the eraser tool, and then we're gonna erase the bits which were on the actual hand. And actually just, because that bit there is still showing a sort of a shadow, even though it's right up against the thing, we're just gonna gently go over there and raise that area next to the type. But that, is how you do it. Now save that, post it to your Instagram. Hopefully people think that's amazing. Thanks for watching guys. I hope that was useful. Please leave me any questions in the comment section below because I know I've been through a lot of this Photoshop uh, stuff um, and there's probably things that you might not know what I was doing at the time. So please leave me uh, a question below and I'll answer that for you. Uh, otherwise, uh, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't and I will see you next week.